friends, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. <gasps> I found some stuff. I have hit the jackpot the last couple days going to my Dollar Trees and so I'm trying to break these up by type because I think that's important. So this haul, again, not big because we're not doing a lot of big stuff. I'm cleaning out packaging. But this haul, if you saw the title, is all eco-friendly supplies or materials product that the Dollar Tree has come out with so far this year. And by eco-friendly, I mean biodegradable, vegan, whatever. Um, and right now it seems to be office supplies and a couple beauty products. So the first thing I found are these, the Eco Gang Bamboo Cotton Swaps. They are vegan. You get 150 of them in here. And because it is cotton and wood, it's 100% biodegradable. So they had that shape, which is your normal Q-tip shape. And then they had this shape, which is interesting. I don't know why there's little bulbuses on them. Um, it doesn't, it just says eco-friendly. So I grabbed two packages of these. I use a fair amount of Q-tips in life. So I thought, well, let's give these a try. And I don't know that regular q-tip brand q-tips are not biodegradable i mean they're paper and cotton but i just wanted to grab these to show you because i think that's pretty cool and i love that they're bamboo um if you didn't know bamboo grows super fast it's readily available and it biodegrades pretty quickly if handled properly so it makes it a good product. Plus, you can use it for lots of stuff. I know it's used on wood floors. I know it's used in plastic type um, eating utensils and drink cups and plates. And I also know that you can uh, turn it into yarn. Like, it goes into yarn products as well. Okay, this is a three ring binder. It's made out of cardboard. Like, what? So, it's... I mean, the metal obviously is not, but can be recycled, but I love it. I love it. It's a 12 by nine and eighth, and I would say it's a inch and a half thick binder. I'm excited for this. I want, I'm not sure what's gonna go in it, but I've been organizing, cause that's what I do at the beginning of every year. And it, you know, it works really well. You don't want to, get it wet obviously because it is cardboard but it's a it's sturdy and to go with it there's a pen holder and this is also it's a pen holder three and a half inch by two and a half inch it is by Greenbrier. i'm going to take open the packaging it comes in plastic which we're putting our eco-friendly stuff in plastic kids but okay small steps I'm trying, you know, we're trying, but it's a, and it has the four holes. It's also cardboard, but it's super sturdy and it's very heavy. I mean, for, for what it is, there's some weight to it, which I like to hold, um, well, pens or your makeup brushes or paint brushes or whatever. I like it. It's pretty small, but I think it would be great for paint brushes for storage, you know, once they're dry. So that and this, they had, also they had a, a bubble wrap, like a mailer that was made out of the same material, but I didn't grab that, which I was, should have because I would be interested to see what they're using on the inside of that to make it eco-friendly. And then there is these cork, they're calling it adhesive cork pad foam bottom. It is, it's like a foam core board, but it's cork on the top. You know what I think this would be great for is a mouse pad or whatever. I mean, you can cut it into whatever you want. They're octagon, so you can get multiple ones. There is adhesive on the back, so you can stick it. I know they have the other cork in the craft section, but this is thicker. I can't open it, or I would. I mean, I could, but... And again, eco-friendly and plastic, but whatever. They're calling this kind. 
Like, I think that's going to be a new line. And I'm assuming that means it's, like, kind for the environment. But I thought it was fun. I love cork. Cork is fun. And you could just use this for anything. They did sell some um, push pins as well in the copper and the gold for that. So there's some cork. And then they have these little notepads, which I think are adorable. And this one says, keep the oceans blue, the planet green, and the animals safe. And this is made of recycled materials. First Tune is the brand, and it is for Dollar Tree. So they have this made. Which, again, I think is pretty nice that they're at least trying. So, they have that notepad. This one says, Think Green. And, again, just a notepad. There are 60 sheets in here. And they are environmentally friendly. Now, the metal, obviously, again, doesn't biodegrade. But the paper and the rings are all made out of recycled material. So, that's great. That makes us happy, right? And then the other items that they have, which we're gonna test out a few, they have pens. So this one is the Kind Eco-Friendly Cork Pen. I don't know if this is made out of bamboo. The, I mean, I know this is cork. Oh, I love it. But I don't know if this is bamboo, because if it is, the bamboo, like I said, you it biodegrades. You break it up and it, disposes of itself. So let's write with this. Writes nice. Black ink. And I love that it has a fat barrel. That's kind of my favorite when I have pens. And they're all going to probably be black ink, but let's test it out. So the pink one is also black ink. And this one, which I love that color. And there's like cork dots in here. Yeah, this is also black ink. They write very nicely. I don't, it doesn't really give me any details on the package as far as is it like gel or whatever, but it feels like a 0.7 millimeter and it goes in here and this is cork, which I love. I think that is super fun. So we have these. Then they have this, which is a wheat barrel pen. So it's made out of some type of wheat which again, I'm assuming is biodegradable. Um, it's very smooth and almost slippery, I would say. Oh, and it has a stylus on the end. So you must, you turn it to open the pen. It writes okay. Um, it doesn't write as smooth and as nice as the cork my opinion. Also, it's very slippery, which I don't love. Like when I'm writing, I feel like my hand is sliding down. So I don't love this as much as the cork, but it's not a bad pen, uh, but it doesn't write as smooth as the cork. So right now the cork pens are leading the way. Then they have here. Now this is ink brand, which is a Dollar Tree brand. These are Ballpoint pens, eco-friendly, super smooth writing, made from recycled materials, one millimeter, you get four. So these are gonna be, all of these are the same. They're all eco-friendly made from recycled materials. So instead of being biodegradable, they're recycled, which is okay. That writes lovely. And this is blue. Oh, it writes really smooth. Um, it's a small barrel. I don't love small barrel pens, but that's okay. Um, it says on here, Eco Ball, but it writes nice. I would say this is an equivalent to a Bic. And that's high praise from a pen person. And four of them for $1.25, that's pretty, pretty good deal. And they write very smooth. They actually even write a little smoother than the cork pen. Oh, but I, the cork pen is going to win because I like the grip. But that is nice. And then this is kind. And these are fine liners. So if you're a journaler, uh, they're sort of color wheat straw based. So these are wheat based as well. Smooth writing. So these are also wheat barrel. I need to look up what a wheat barrel or what the wheat 
does as far as being, um, we'll write with red, as far as being um, biodegradable. It has a nice feel. It's from Jot. I forgot to tell you that. It has a triangular barrel, which is ergonomic. If you can see there, which I like. Um, it's very smooth. Again, it's slippery, but okay. It writes nice. It's very opaque and it's very fine because it's a fine liner. I would say if I had to guess it's a 0.5 or a 0.3 millimeter, it doesn't say, um, but if you were doing journaling, yeah, I think this is great puts down a fair amount of ink, but I don't, I don't feel like it's going to bleed through the back of the paper, which is lovely. And um, they come in currently red, red, blue, and black, which again is great if you're a journaler. Oh, pair these up with that notebook. We got that. All right. The last two things we have are highlighters. They're both ink brand. They're both eco-friendly, quick, these are quick drying, bright fluorescent colors made from recycled material, chisel point. That's those. These are bright fluorescent colors made from recycled material, so they're not quick drying apparently. Um, I, do, I do use a fair amount of highlighters on my projects when I'm cross-stitching or journaling or working in my at work. Oh, I like them already. They have a nice fat barrel and they're not extra slippery. So I feel like there's a good grip. Ooh, that is some bright yellow. Yeah. I mean, it does what you want a highlighter to do. Here's what I would like to see. So I drew a line. Is it going to smear? No. I don't know if that says more about the ink pen or the highlighter, but it's not smearing, which is good if you're highlighting. Um, I think these are pretty darn fantastic if you have a student in your life that needs highlighters. Oh, that one is, okay, I fixed it. The tip, the chiseled tip was coming out, but look at that tip. These are nice highlighters. They have a good hand feel to them. That's exciting. Um, I will tell you, these are not my favorite style of highlighter, just because I don't like the way they feel in my hand, but that is obviously a personal preference. We'll try the pink. Um, they have a nice chisel as well. I don't like the way they feel in my hand, but again. Okay, so these, ooh. I like that. It's more of a pastel. It's not, and I think they had different colors. Let's see if they bleed. Um, I found. Siri. I like that they're pastel-y, which is nice when you're journaling, and they do not bleed. So here's what I will say. I prefer in my journal, when I'm doing my planner, I prefer a pastel highlighter like um i would compare this to the zebra mild liners um as far as color and coverage go they're not overly a bright you know bright and abrasive where these i think are neon and they're going to be very bright and it's going to highlight and stick out so i would use this if i'm reading something or if i need to draw my eye to it i use these if i'm going to be more decorative if that makes sense um but I will use these. I will use them, guys. So that is everything so far that I have found um, at the Dollar Tree that is in there. Eco-friendly. I say that until I do some research. I want to know what wheat barrels means. Like, what does this mean? I'm assuming this is also the wheat. It feels the exact same. So I'm assuming that this is also the wheat barrel. And what does that mean as far as, I know what bamboo does. So I'm gonna do a little research on that. If you know, let us know below. and Let's get a conversation started. And also we have a Facebook group, get over there. I'm gonna show a few of these items over on the Facebook group later today. All right, guys. Um, yes, I have the same shirt on.
Um, if you don't know, just a little heads up. Today I started a topical chemotherapy on my face and it's going to get real red. It's already started and I just did one dose, but it's going to get very red and sore. I am documenting that, but I wanted to get a few videos done ahead to show um, just to have on the channel in case I start not feeling like I want a video because this is going to get um, painful over the next two weeks. So I'm doing a bunch of recording back to back so that I have all of this stuff up and ready for you. But if you see these and you have any need in your life, I will tell you what I use these for. I haven't one, but it's a huge one to store my cross stitch patterns, knitting patterns, any type of pattern or craft stuff that I need for the future. All right, guys, I have one more video to record today. So you have a good one.